was my one of the first workshops that I did seminars. Really? And then I kind of moved to the guys for some reason. And what's the difference between teaching a lesbian who wants to pick up women and teaching guys who want to pick up women? It's harder. It's much, much harder than teaching guys. Because besides all of those these techniques and whatever things that you actually do, uh, teaching women there's one big issue and that's like she is afraid that she's going to be a slut. Easy or if she approaches a guy. She's gonna, or a girl, whatever. And one more thing, like, okay, for a guy to kiss or make out or even like on a finger, like where I get sexual with a girl in a club, it's kind of normal, something you see in a club every day. But for girls to approach girls in a group and start making out with her and take her to the toilet, it's like, there's a huge gap, you know, it's just not socially acceptable. So it's very hard to train them, it's very hard to teach them. It's possible, it's possible, but just harder. Getting back to international game for a second, you're telling me that Japan is worse than North America, and that and you're, you're going to be like a Japan in probably like five, seven years, ten years. And in the same amount of time, Europe is now is going to turn into what the United States is now. Yes, I mean if you go, you will see that UK. It's like this. Okay, let's say United States. Then it's like a five years back is a UK. Then plus five years Germany. You know, this area, Germany, Switzerland, Austria. Mm -hmm. And then you have this Eastern Bloc, I think, like, we are, like, probably 10, 15 years back, you know, in time, like, you know, Croatia and all this, like, you know, this part of Europe, Eastern part of Europe. Around the world, what are some of the best places for actual pickup? It depends what you want. You want the easy girls, you want, like, flattish girls, beautiful girls. Okay, let's talk about one-night stands. Where's the best place in the world to go for one-night stands? I think, so far, what I noticed is, like, actually, Sweden, for me, personally. Sweden is the best place for one-night stands? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. From my experience, yes. Okay. Now, where can men find the most beautiful women in the world, in your experience? I mean, that's really, I mean, I think beauty is like a taste, you know? It's like, what, what do you like? You know, some guys like Japanese girls, some like... you. Europeans, some like Latino girls. Okay, well, for you, like, for what you I would think consider... for me is Russia, definitely. Really? Russian girls. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of men in North America who find Russian women very, very attractive. What do you think it okay. is about the Russian women that, that is so attractive? I mean, all this, like, a block, okay? All this, like, you know, I mean, Croatia, the same, same genes, Croatia, yeah. Russia, Poland... You know, Serbia, it's all the same genes, you know, so basically you have like this Eastern European genes, of, so all the girls here look the same, you know, basically, like when you say Russia, I don't know, but just for example, I, that's why I'm amazed with Moscow, because in Moscow you can find like so many beautiful girls, it's crazy. Not particularly Russian, but this kind of genes that I like, so this, that's my type of woman. Is there any place where it is the they're so resistant to male dominance that you have a hard time picking up is there any place in the world that uh d doesn't appreciate male dominance i don't know really i still have fun i'm sure it exists i'm sure it exists yeah. but i still didn't find it well i've often found in canada when guys go out to clubs if they act very dominant they will get kicked out of the clubs by the bouncers. No, I was last week in Canada. I don't think so. No? Total, no, I was, I was last week in Canada, and we had like a very nice time there in Montreal. I mean, I'm in Montreal, Vancouver. I'm coming to Vancouver very soon, and I, I totally disagree with this. Really? Because I've heard yeah. of people uh, who are very good at game constantly getting uh, invited to leave clubs and getting kicked out of clubs. But it's mostly because of... Uh, okay, that's true, but that's because of jealousy. Okay, so it's not because of the dominance of the guy. It's, it's not dominance. I mean, okay, why? Because we guys, so like a good girls, we are the worst customers, again, in a club. And those two beautiful girls that I usually take home or I, you know, my friends take home, they're part of bait. I mean, you have like a two beautiful girls on a bar or like a bunch of them, okay? Mm -hmm. In a club. And then I come there with my friends and we pick them up. 
we don't buy a bottle of champagne, a bottle of wine, spend like a few, few hundred bucks from them, or on club. We're going for free, get the girls out and take them home. I mean, you're going to let me again in the club? Makes because if I'm taking those two beautiful girls, or like, whatever, like, we're just taking away the girls from you. Of course you don't like us, of course, like, you're not going to appreciate what they do. So it's not because of dominance, not because of... Because, I mean, you're dominant with the girl, you know, you're not dominant with the bouncers and... and the owners of club and bartenders, you know? And in a busy club, no one can actually see you. So you don't be afraid to... do anything to the girls, you know? I mean, of course, if you go out too much, she's, if she, like, complains to the bouncer, you're gonna get kicked out. But dominance, dominance is actually takes a lot of control and calibration. You're not always the same, you know. Of course, if a girl is like, I don't know, I had I had one girl that I probably never forget. She was raped as a kid, okay. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, so, so she, she she still liked like guys so like in the control and you know dominant. So, but if you're just a little bit too much, you know, dominant. You know, she immediately she gets the memories from her childhood from being raped and she freaks out. Okay? So I was very, very cautious. More nice, but still kind of a little touch of dominance to get what I want and to get the relationship where I want to go with her. So I think dominance is for every girl is kind of different. All right. It's like driving a car, you know, mm -hmm. you know, to achieve the same speed in every car, you're going to put different amount of gas, you know. Speed, whatever. Okay. Makes sense? It makes sense. we got to go for a commercial break. When we come back, it'll be the third and final segment of this interview with Bad Boy here on Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles. <laughs> Frank Talks is sponsored in part by the book, I'm a Man, That's My Job, The Philosophy of a Seducer. What is inner game? There's a lot of contradictory information out there, and one size does not fit all. Your inner game is as unique and personal as your signature or your fingerprints. This book provides you with the means to create your own seduction persona. This is a workbook, which means we will work together, and by the end, you will have developed your own personal inner game. By this, learn what it means to be a man and what the role of the modern man in today's society is that will attract him to the woman he wants. Learn about how men and women think differently and how to take the lead in a relationship. This book is for you at franktalks.com. Frank Talks is sponsored in part by From Loser to Seducer by Frank B. Kermit. Ladies, is there a man in your life that got dumped for being clingy, needy, or was told he was a loser, but you still think he's a nice guy and want to help him? He could be a relative or even a friend, and you know he needs the help. Do you want to be the one to give him the gift that will change his life forever? How about the gift of a great biography? Buy him the book, From Loser to Seducer, by Frank B. Kermit. It is the story of a nice guy who triumphs over his inner demons to find his own hidden power. Help the nice guy in your life discover his inner seducer to find his soulmate. Buy this book now at franktalks.com. Tune in to Frank Talks, Pleasures and Lifestyles on this station for the most eclectic ensemble of interview guests ever produced. It's honest Frank approaches, trusted professional conduct, and timely taboo topics. From swing clubs and artists to sex workers and alternative lifestyles, Frank Talks is making the world a better place, one interview at a time. He's Frank because he has to be. Check local program listings for times and details. You're listening to Frank Talks Pleasures and... 